Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin. Yesterday, we went to the impact site, and we got the second-to-last ship part, increasing our search area, enabling us to go to, aptly put, the final trial, which houses the last ship part. Also, we, ha we covered two days yesterday, where I showed two secret enemies, and I sprouted about 500 Pikmin in preparation for the final trial. Now, let's go ahead and head on in. This, er this day is going to be very complicated slash hectic as we try to get through the gauntlet that is this area, the final trial. So let me show you on a map about what we have to deal with. There, why? Okay. Um, there are no enemies other than the final boss, and the final boss is at the other end of this area, and we have to get through a gauntlet of stuff of obstacles in order to get to the final boss but because the because i've played through this game a few times i know how to get through this in less than a half a day so we should have half a day to defeat the boss so let's try it well not try it but let's do it just just do it <laughs> nike anyway in fact for some reason ryan you guys know ryan for some reason he used to always wear nike shirts i don't get why it's like a Oh, he was on his Nike kick. <laughs> okay, uh, puns aside, which I'm not the master of them or the king. I know who is, though. You guys probably do, too. Anyway, um, we want 20 reds, 60 blues, and 20 yellows. There we go. Now, what we want to do is, once they all catch up... Oh, also, if you're short on a certain color of Pikmin, you can transform Pikmin into whatever color you want with those three candy pop buds. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and do this. You want to leave your reds right here. You want to separate your blues and your yellows more uh, better. <laughs> more better. And you want to take your blues and set them on these bridges. You want to set about half half of each, half of your blue squad on each bridge. There we go. Uh, you aren't working. There we go. 35. That's good. Now, then you want to go around here and throw the rest onto this bridge speed throw and there you go this is the only thing the blues have to do today after that you're done with them for the remainder of the game yes the game let's go ahead and throw this guy right here or the, those two and then what you want to do is you want to grab your yellows and you want to throw them over onto this island i'm going to throw all of them you don't need to throw all of them but that's what i'm just going to do and once they're all here then you just go on this island and whistle them and you have to grab bomb rocks in order to take down that rock wall in between those two bridges that we just started working on. Let's zoom in a little bit, and on the Wii version, you could you could throw Pikmin from this this ledge to the other ledge really easily, but I'm playing the GameCube version, so I have it harder off. Although arguably, people who use the uh, Wii version have it even harder off because there are more glitches on it. So go ahead and throw all of your yellow Pikmin into this tube, and they will grab a bunch of bomb rocks. And there they are. And let's go ahead and call them back and separate them. And the ones that aren't carrying bomb rocks, I will throw up back into this culvert right here. Or next to the culvert. And mash X. There we go. Dismiss them. And now you want to move your yellows across these gaps. Now, whoa. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to throw them across. But if you whistle them, they'll drop their bomb rocks. So what you should do instead is just bump into them. And they will come to your side without having to be whistled and you want to do that here here as well there we go and bump into them and while they are doing that let's go ahead and grab these and these reds and put them on this passageway right here you, they have to go through the fire of the flames now it is possible to get a, another color through here but you need reds today anyway so you might as well just ferry reds through so let's go ahead and do that and let me whistle these guys and zoom out and move these guys on this and whistle. There we go. Now I'm going to move all of these guys over here and dismiss them. There we are. And let me go ahead and grab my bomb rock buddies and they will take out that gate. Perfect. Now blues are done for today so you want to put them away as soon as possible. Here we are. Um, three will take this out or two. That works too. <laughs> that works too. And the game is lagging again, which I do not like. I'm not a fan of that. It isn't my recording lagging either. I, I 
thought that myself the first time this game lagged. Actually, it's not my recording. It is literally the game, which I don't understand the slightest. It's just strange. I wonder if it only does it when I play on the Wii, but it doesn't do it on the GameCube. That's strange. Alright, I want to put all 60 of my blues away, because we need reds for a fighting force, and blues are not needed at all. So, once they're away, I'm going to take out 10... Yeah, 10 more yellows. That, that'll be fine. Let me go ahead and take out 10. And here are my 10. And then we're going to grab the rest. Red. And good. Let's grab... 49 reds and let's run and we can start fighting the final boss there are two well one or two barriers blocking us from the final boss but they are easy to take it take out with the power of bomb rocks and that was a very dysfunctional sentence okay let me whistle everyone and if you if you alternate the c stick up and down you can keep them into a smaller file line and that way they will not fall as off the bridge as easily because they can actually easily fall off the bridge actually that's very useful thank you guys there we go and you can actually take out bramble gates in one well yeah one hit with a bomb rock that's very very useful you should take advantage of that also that box is actually connecting a ramp to um i'm going to call it lemongrass because i actually like that term um lemongrass <laughs> in order to nectarize your pikmin so I actually... No, I don't want to do that. I could, but I don't want to waste time. Now, what you want to do is you want to separate your Pikmin right here. You do not want to have blues at all because blues are actually very inconvenient for this fight. And the reason being is that what you have to do is first you want to avoid the center area. That is the final boss. And you want to take out the Bramble Gate using one bomb rock. Then... Once it blows up, you can just pass on through, and you want to have all of your Pikmin, all of your yellow Pikmin, carry bomb rocks. And this is this is great leaps and bounds towards beating the final boss. You want to have them all pick up bomb rocks, you guys can pick up more. There we go. Okay, now what you want to do is head to the other side without touching the boss at all. Just move over here, and what you want to do is you want to place your bomb rock Pikmin right here on the other side of the reds, like so. Uh, actually, no, that is way too close. There we go. That's uh, that's much better. Now what you want to do is you want to grab about three bomb rock Pikmin. You don't whistle them. They won't drop their, their bomb rocks if you whistle them, but just touch them. Then you can get a couple. Then you want to approach the final boss, and there he is! This is the Emperor Bull Blacks, the king of all Bull Blackses. Now, what you want to do is you want to sacrifice yellow Pikmin to it. Now, I say sacrifice, you don't have to sacrifice them. But it's actually really, the AI doesn't always think. Um, what yellow Pikmin do is they do will do one of two things. I lost a Pikmin there. Uh, oh, I lost another one. Oh, no, he's still alive. There we go. Perfect, he survived. Oh, he died, okay. Um, they will do one of two things. Either they will just stand there idly and get sucked up into this guy and blow him up and stun him, or they'll do the smart thing and actually throw the bomb rock into his mouth like that. And he'll smack himself in the face with his tongue. You can whistle the remainder of your Pikmin and set them on him. He will be stunned for much longer when you smack him with your when he smacks himself with his tongue. So that is how you want to stun him. And we just took off a quarter of his health right there. That's very good. And now we want to kind of reset our ordering. We want to grab some bomb rock Pikmin and there we go. One more. There we go. And he cannot touch your Pikmin when they're outside of his ring. He cannot possibly touch them. Turn around and throw. And he will throw it. Very good. The AI is actually being very nice. In practice, um, I did I did this day a couple times just for practice, and it did not work at all. The AI, sometimes it would actually throw Pikmin into its mouth. Other times, also I lost a good deal there. Other times, it will just stand there and not do anything. So it can be good and bad at, the same, uh, at different times. Okay, there we go. And he's actually really low on health. That's... No. Come here. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and call this guy to us. And... Okay, turn around. Uh, will you throw it? Nice! Oh, you missed. Oh! No, it worked! Okay. Sometimes it glitches, and when he his tongue is out, it actually won't stun him, even if he gets hit by it. So, yeah. But actually, that worked very well. Now, let me whistle. Whoa! How many did I lose? Oh, only three, okay. 
That was almost very bad. Now, when he is below half health, he will learn a... Well, not learn, but he'll use a new attack. He will jump on top of you from the sky. He might do it here. You want to be stay on your toes and be very careful. Let me throw a Pikmin here. Will it throw it? There we go. No, missed. Okay, that's fine. I, I brought three in order to prepare for that. Will you throw it? Good boy! Oh, you missed. Okay. Throw one here. Or not. Okay, come here. Now, go ahead and dismiss these non-Bomb non Rock Pikmin into the main group since they don't need Bomb Rocks anymore. Go ahead and throw this one, and will you be smart? No, there's his jump attack! Okay, that other one's still alive, but he left the thing there. That would have been horrible if he blew up my crew. Alright, now let's go ahead and throw the, hit this again. Will he throw it? No, he won't. He'll, he will sack himself. Alright, let me go and grab these Pikmin. Now, his death was not in vain because he does stun the bull, the bull blacks. The king of all bull orbs. Definitely, without doubt, run. He'll jump. There we go. He can kill most of your squad with either of his two attacks. He only does. Ha he only has two attacks. Well, three, actually. He can When he shakes them off, he will jump, do a small hop, but also he will do that big hop, and he will use his tongue. Um, this Pikmin, I do not want him there. Uh, will you will you be smart? Oh, okay. Let me grab my grab some more rock Pikmin. Their AI just suddenly got a, little, a lot dumber, which I'm not a fan of. Okay, dismiss them here and grab some rock. I keep calling them rock Pikmin, as if there was such a thing. All right. Whoa, he's gonna jump. And okay, he's going to not jump again. Okay. Sometimes his his AI is a little bit weird. Throw it, or just stand there stupidly. Whatever. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw Pikmin on him while he's stunned. And that will do a good deal of his health. Whoa! How many did I lose? I lost 10. I did not expect him to do that. How many? Lo okay, I've lost 30 Pikmin. That is not good, but though it's not horrible. You, can ex you will expect to lose a lot of Pikmin to this guy. Okay, turn around. Good. Okay, throw. Good boy! Okay, that will smack him in his face, and we are not going to be able to take him out, but we will do a good deal of health to him. There we go. Actually, no, we won't be able to take him out. Okay, we lost one. That's fine. All right, let's back up, and let's use um, a couple more bomb rocks. Run. Okay, good. He got out, and let me go and bump this guy. Bump the last of my bomb rock Pikmin, and we have three bomb rocks left. Let's see if that's enough to take him out. Turn around. Whoa! Whoa! throw it. Oh, he missed. Okay. Whoa, run, run, run. Okay, he died. That's fine. Okay. 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 Uh, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Ah, he glitched again. Okay, I need more bomb rocks. Badly. Okay. Let me circumvent this guy and grab some more bomb rocks. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay. Let's grab some more bomb rocks and let's finish him off. He only has a sliver of health left. Hopefully we can take him out before the day ends. Good. Let's go. Uh, let me just miss him right here. Whistle these guys. And come here. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. That's fine. Okay. We only need a couple to take him out. Speed throw. And that is it. He is dead. Concentration. Yes. There he is. We finished him off. Okay, let's dispose of these bomb rocks, and let's grab our entire crew to pick up his... Rem well, he d doesn't drop any remains other than pellet posies, but let's pick up the last part. It is a piggy bank. It is the secret... At long last, I found the final part. My secret safe, and it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I've persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hokitate. There's the final part. Let's swarm all of our Pikmin onto it to ensure that we get back in time. I'm actually going to go back and grab some more Pikmin in order to help carry it. I'll grab some blues so all the colors can participate. We sacrificed a good deal of yellows, and it's kind of interesting how the, the most useless Pikmin in the game, the yellows, became the most useful at the end. It's almost as if the designers intended it. Okay, come on. Come on, blues. Come on. 
Any time now. Um, let's put as many Pikmin as we can on it. Hurry it along. Good thing that they're, most of them are flower Pikmin. That way they'll carry it faster. And 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Wow, how many Pikmin can carry this? Also, the game is lagging horribly. We have 10 seconds left, but I am very confident that we can bring it back by then. Okay, 95 Pikmin seems to be the max. Yeah, we'll bring it back. Good. Yeah, so 90, 95 Pikmin is the max. It's a strange number, but that's what it is. And with that done, we've completed the game. <sighs> that was a that was an intense battle. We lost about 33 Pikmin. Yeah, 33 Pikmin. I have finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hokitate. And with that, the last few parts of the ship fill out, and it becomes complete. There it is. All the seams have closed up, and it was once again complete. And the Pikmin see us off. They can't. They can't join us. They'll be forced to fend for themselves, but we did give them a good boost. Hopefully they'll be able to fend for themselves. I have a feeling that they will be able that they'll be able to. Thirty parts, one hundred percent completion in thirteen days. Nine hundred and thirty-two surviving Pikmin, and one hundred and thirty-five Pikmin lost. Now you'll see previous records there. That is actually from me in practice. So, yeah, sorry, it's kind of spoilers that I did better in practice, but that's to be expected. Total Pikmin ever sprouted. 1,147, and there are four zeros left. How on earth did they expect us to to grow, uh, what is that, 100, uh, 10 million Pikmin? How did they expect that to happen? Is that 10 million? Yeah, it is 10, or actually it had been 99,999,999 Pikmin. How is that possible? Interesting, okay. Hey, I'm happy with that. And for those of you who want to see complete list, in case you want to play through the game yourself, uh, all of the yellow names are mandatory parts, and the blue ones are optional. The secret safe is optional, because, you know, you'd have to get 100% to get it. So, I'm happy with this, and save, yes. And, we're treated with... Some credits. Now, these credits are actually extremely short, so I won't have that much time to wrap up the LP, but I'll do it anyway. I'll try my best. Thank you guys so much for watching Pikmin. It was kind of a rush LP for me. Things were a little bit hectic. Ryan and I worked on the Photoshop 
for the channel art and the the uh, the avatar, and it was actually very hard. The channel art was hard because I knew that this would be going on during pick uh, during Skyward Sword, so I wanted something that acknowledged both LPs. I just didn't want a Pikmin banner. But the problem is there isn't that much art for Pikmin One, and those art for other other Pikmin games kinds of spoil stuff. It's kind of hard not to get that. And so the the original art that we made is actually on my Google Plus page. But on the day that episode one of Pikmin released, Ryan and I, um, I, f I found that the um, channel art just didn't work in the with YouTube's format. So Ryan and I collabed and we made a entirely new banner from scratch and it ended up being better than the first one so i was very happy about that and other things for example this episode i'm recording just like a few days before it actually comes out um i just got with the finale of skyward sword i took me a, a lot of takes to record that and editing was kind of killer um for those of you who watched until the very end of it if you if you didn't do that you should go do that um but yeah, it, it was kind of killer. So I had to put off Pikmin for a while. And so I kind of had to rush some things. I'm not saying that these were low quality. I certainly did them to the satisfaction of my takes. But it was it was very rushed. And I had to get this out in a jiffy. So I'm, I'm actually proud of what came out. Even even despite that. And also the game is very stressful. Now this, the uh, credits seem done. But they're actually not. We're going to, it'll pan over to some other credits, and these are the credits of the enemies. It'll show bios on all the enemies, which is really neat. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this game is very, very hectic. It, you know, I lost a good number of Pikmin, and there are many takes where I lo I just didn't get everything I needed to get in a day. For example, uh, day, oh, what was that? Day 10, I think, where I did like 30 takes. That was just because I couldn't do stuff. Whether they were dying, Pikmin were dying to glitches, or I just didn't get everything I needed to get that day, things didn't work out. So, it has been a very stressful LP for me, and maybe you guys have noticed it. Also, real quick, I just noticed something. Three Pikmin were carrying that number one pellet posy. Do you see that? Interesting, there's some beta elements in this. For example, look at that bridge on the left! That bridge on the left right there, that is from beta. It is not in the final cut of the game. So you're, if you guys pay attention, you'll see a lot of beta elements here. Including enemies and layouts. For example, all the way back there in the background, that puffy blowhog, you cannot reach that area. So yeah, that's cool. But yeah, this this game was pretty stressler, stressler, <laughs> stressful. And But I, I'm very satisfied with the end result. I really love this game. I love the Pikmin series. All of the games are fantastic. I love them. I do have plans to LP them as well. So, yeah, you can look forward to that in the coming years to come. So, about the next LP. Well, actually, no, no, no. I'll, I'll hold that off for a second. Bad things about this game. I've talked about the good ones, that it has a lot of charm, that it has a very survivalist feel. But the bad things about this game are that it is glitchy as... Um, I'm not going to say Superman 64, but... It's for a first party game. It might as well be Superman 64 This this game is extremely glitchy from random things like um, Olimar falling through the the world which I've never I never experienced that in the LP But it does happen to Pikmin being glitch killed to uh, Certain parts falling through the world and becoming unobtainable um, it is actually very, very hard to play through this game that, while avoiding glitches. But that that said, uh, the glitches do have a certain charm to them. <laughs> it's kind of strange for me to say that, but they do have a good amount of charm. I like being able to play through the game and discover glitches that the designers didn't intend. It's actually kind of fun. Also, um, the graphics of this game are not actually as good as they could have been. Uh, this game, I'm pretty sure, was originally planned for the N64, and they ported some of the graphics from that. For example, some of the parts look like they could have been rendered on N64, and that's probably because they were. And they just never never upgraded them to the GameCube's power and memory. That being said, for the graphics being as quote-unquote bad as they are for GameCube standards, I'm really surprised that this game lags as much as it does. I experienced lag a lot in this LP. Off-screen, on-screen, fail takes, and everything. 
this game is very laggy at times, and it just feels like the dev time, the development time of this game was a little bit rushed because some things are let through that are that should not have been let through if they actually, you know, they took their time. For example, there's a gla graphical gl glitch right there. You notice that when he was pick hitting the pellet posy, um, the animation of him hitting it was showing up through the solid rock. That should not happen. Also, there are beta elements in the credits. That should not happen. They could have they could have fixed that fairly easily, but I think that it was a little bit rushed. And for that, it's kind of obvious, especially in the Wii version of this game, where they ported it and they didn't really bother to fix any of the glitches. You'd think, since they're porting it and they're going to learn all they're going to earn all new money on the on the project, they would take some time to fix some of the glitches, but they didn't. And because of that, more glitches appeared. So that that's why I didn't play the Wii version, although there are other reasons as well. So, I feel like both instances of both versions of this game, they were rushed, and I, I just don't really appreciate that. Although I do love this game, and oh, uh, Wally Wog, I don't have no love for him. Um, I like how this has a very survivalist feel. They, they made it a, a fairly hard game, and I like that. Um, there aren't enough games that are hard nowadays. Not to say that easy games are bad or casual games are bad. But I like to have a nice balance. I want to have casual games and um, and hardcore games. And this is a nice hardcore game. It forces you to get really good at the game really fast. I like that. So, that being said, um, this was a very this was a very good LP. Um, this game wasn't as glitchy to me as it could have been, and I appreciate that of the game to t to be nice to me. But that being said, um, glitches and everything aside, this was a very good LP, I think. I got to stretch some of my muscle, and the fact that this wasn't done after Skyward Sword, meaning I was double-teaming the, the episodes for a while, meant that I had to get really good at um, keeping my head out of each game separately really well. What I mean by that is I'm not, I'm not LPing Skyward Sword when I'm LPing uh, Pikmin. You know, I'm not talking about... Skyward Swordy things, although I did do that, but it, hopefully you guys catch my meanie, meaning. I was able to keep the game separate. Also, I am glad that I was able to keep to my schedule fairly well. So, I, I could have talked about this a lot more, but I'm actually going to not continue, because I could talk for this good for a good 10 minutes more. That would make this a 40 minute episode, and I do not want that to happen. So, Thank you guys for watching this LP. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys look forward to the next LP here on Pal Plays. But I'm not quite done. Not quite. I just have a little bit more to talk about. Not about this LP, but about the next one. I'd like to talk about it here now, because if I did it on Skyward Sword, the episode would turn into a 50-minute episode, since the last few episodes are extremely long. So, let me talk about the next LP just real quick. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'll tell you what I plan to do. Um, during this and last L and Pit and Skyward Sword, I was able to establish some roots as an LPer. I was an able to develop my style and develop it in something I liked. And you guys were able to watch me while I was still rough around the edges. I still am to a certain extent, but I would like to, with each LP, I would like to challenge myself. I like that to happen. With this LP, it was me just keep um, keeping my cool, sort of, for most of the game. But for the other parts, I was able to show information, talk about the game, and not stutter too much. I was able to talk about the information in a nice and forthright manner. With Skyward Sword, the challenge was just beginning to LP. Now, with the next game, I would like to do take that a one step further. What I plan to do is... Well, let me explain something about the next game. There are a ton of collectibles in it, and for those of you who would want to do a 100% run, but don't necessarily want to wait through an entire LP, or for those of you who are playing along with me, but they don't want to follow along exactly what I'm doing, because that is actually pretty hard. What I'm doing is I'm making, Ryan and I are doing a lot of Photoshop work, and what we are doing is we are creating lists that I can put in videos with music and stuff. And those lists will have every collectible in the game. And 
on those boxes. Every every collectible will have their own little box. And what I'll put on those boxes are annotations. And as I play through the LP, I will add more annotations onto those boxes, and they will link to the exact video where I got that uh, specific collectible, and also they will link to the exact time in the video that I got that collectible. So if you want to follow along and do 100%, you can just follow along story-wise, but not get any of the collectibles. I almost said what they are, which would have spoiled the game, but anyway. Um, and so you guys can click to everything, and it'll bring you to the exact time and place in the video where I get the collectible. And then what I will do is I'll put another annotation on screen after I get the collectible, and it will link you back to the collectibles video. I, I really like this idea, and I came up with it a, l a good long time ago, back when Skyward Sword was still beginning, and I really liked it. So I plan to do that. There are a lot of collectibles in the game. There are over... I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to say how many, because that would spoil it too, possibly. But there are a lot. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, about when it comes out, I realize that I'm talking a little bit too long, but just stick with me. About when it comes out, it, it's going to be coming out later than most cooldown times for LPs. It's probably going to be coming out next month. I know that that's a long wait, but just listen. Uh, the last week of this month, I'm going to be going to a camp for a week. And that was the week that... The last week of July is the week that I plan to release the next LP. So I actually want to wait to release it until I come back because I want my full attention to be on it. So it's prob this LP is going to start probably early August. It's hard to think that summer's almost over. Gross. And so it's going to be starting early August. That being said, I'm not actually going to not release content until then. Um, Ryan is coming over to my house to record, hopefully to record, this next week from when I'm recording this. And what I plan to do is I plan to have him, him and maybe, um, maybe my sister or maybe his brother record some Mario Party or Mario Kart or something like that. And then we'll release it in a couple episodes. And why is Olimar drowning his Pikmin? <laughs> okay. I plan to release it in a couple episodes. And then that will tide you guys over. So, that being said, I'll see you guys next time for Pal's Play, whatever I choose to do. Maybe it'll be Smash. I don't know. Actually, Smash would be very fun. It might be Smash. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So, whatever happens, I will see you guys then for Pal's Play, whatever it is. Also, in a month, less than a month, next month, I will see you guys for Pal Play's... You guys thought I was going to say it, but I'll see you guys then.